good. They're good. Okay, so I think uh, Dennis started out this morning talking about how entertaining the training is on export compliance, and it, it is tough. And this quote may not be completely accurate because it was from Muhammad Ali, but nonetheless, I think that the point is that the training is difficult. It's it's hard for people to sit through, but it is critical. There's there's nothing more important than training people and making sure they understand the regulations. So we're going to talk a little bit about the the type of training, who you train. Um, the methods for training, and, and I think Josh and I are going to kind of tag team here, so I'll put a couple bullets up, I'll talk to it, and then Josh will talk to it. Um, this is just a few more quotes here. So who do you train? You know, personally, I think you train everybody. Everybody and anybody who will listen, you keep training them. Um, you know, new employees is a critical element. I think that gets overlooked sometimes. They get trained sometime down the road, but not necessarily the day they start. You want to get them early on. Um, obviously, management, business development, finance engineers. I think the one I didn't put up here is contractors. Contractors is a huge issue. Um, and I think a lot of times within a company, the contractors tend to be kind of the overlooked ones. So um, I think contractors is probably one that, that we have tried to focus on more recently. I don't, Josh, do you have Yeah, so that? I would second all of that. Um, new employees. So we have a new employee uh, training pack that within the first 30 days, uh, they have to be trained up on a number of our policies and procedures, and ITAR is one of those. Uh, but that is a, a relatively basic level. We're not doing the in-depth training within the 90 days, or within the 30 days, I'm sorry. Uh, and then just to the contractor's point, that is that touches on some more sensitivities about training external parties. Uh, and we would probably approach it as, what are those contractors? Are we treating them as regular employees right. uh, under a contractor clause? or are we treating them as a subcontractor? And we would approach their, the training requirements differently so that we're not in a position of providing legal advice or interpretation to a, a third party. Right. Um, and then when do you train? Um, for us, similar to, to what you just heard, we, have, um, we do have a new hire orientation package. It does include kind of the basics. It's got the policy. But in terms of actual sit-down training new employees and walking through the regulations, that has to be done in the first 60 days of employment. Um, also, I think you know one of the things that we've really tried to focus on is new programs. 